Uh, less than 24 hours after Nigeria's highest court put to rest disputes over the presidential elections conducted earlier this year, citizens have continued to react to the apex court's judgments. Some of them continue to express their displeasure over the non-transmission of results during the elections, blaming it for the controversies which followed the polls. New Central's marvellous Abom Manu was on the streets of the nation's capital, Abuja, and tells us more. The mood of most Nigerians ever since the Supreme Court gave their verdict by affirming the decision of the lower court, which upheld the victory of President Bola Tinubu, seems not to have brightened. This is because some citizens have remained resolute over their claims surrounding the conduct of the polls, saying the nation's electoral body would have saved the public the emotional and psychological torture. Witness, if only they had fulfilled their promise of transmitting the results live. The feeling and then the conversation had been that of total disappointment. Nigerians are not happy with INEC as an institution, believe you me. They promised that this election will be credible, will be transmitted real lifetime, but that wasn't the case. So I think uh, INEC should brace up because Nigerians are losing faith in the operation and the activities of INEC. Like they say, they were going to transmit, and that all gave everybody joy. But later they changed their mind, and uh, nothing anybody can do. Some of them want a proper investigation into the funds released to the electoral body for the conduct of a free, fair, and credible election. If you look at the amount of money that went into the purchase of equipment, so as to guarantee, so as Nigeria will experience a free, credible, and fair election. What we, end, what we got at the end of the day is not commensurate to the amount of money invested in INEC so as to, I mean, carry out its it, it function. Somebody should be called to order. Somebody should come to account for what had happened, what led to the failure of INEC. We all know what happened on the 25th of February. We all came out in mass. Nigerians turned out like never before. The excitement was there because INEC promised that there was a process that will ensure a credible uh, election. Uh, but it didn't turn out that way. So what is expected of Nigerians going forward? I hope that we'll get that kind of, that level of excitement again. I hope so. But honestly, it is very discouraging that we're in a country where what the Supreme Court has upheld today is that grab it and run with it is the right way to have election. I hope that we're not allowing chaos in our land. With the dispute of the presidential election now over, it is hoped that the electoral body will use the off-cycle polls in Kogi, Bayasa and Imo states to get back the confidence of aggrieved citizens. Marvelous Obomano reporting for News Central.